everybody, Loki Jen coming to you again. Um, we have a new project. Um, I, I know you guys have heard about me talking with the senior advisor to uh, Senator um, Barbara Boxer here in California. Um, but uh, I, I also still help patients. Today, uh, Buckner and I are going to be helping a gentleman, um, you know, in his 80s. Uh, set up his own medical grow. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go out there and put it step by step. Um, I thought I'd let you guys know that we're thinking about maybe uh, doing another DIY. This is definitely going to be a budget grow. This is for someone who is disabled and on limited income. So we're going to be utilizing a few techniques um, to optimize what we have. Um, so we're going to try and do that and then fit it in the budget. There's also something special coming up. Uh, I've been presented with an opportunity to test out a new product. Uh, it's a new type of um, agriculture, horticulture type product. I don't want to give too much detail. Um, we're going to be uh, hopefully doing some R&D on it. Uh, I'm going to bring it here to Casa del Loki and use it for the breeding process and the micropropagation that I'm doing to see how well it works. Uh, and we're going to video it step by step every week, every day, every time we do something new. We're going to put it up there for you guys so that everybody can see exactly what this product can do, what you can do on a limited budget. And uh, hopefully the product is as great as I'm being told. If not, we'll find out. And um, this is just another step towards being able to maximize your medical grow without having to um, <clears throat> tax your pocketbook. Um, you know, on average in California for a thousand watt HID, whether it be metal halide or high pressure sodium, you're looking at anywhere between eighty to hundred dollars in electrical bill per. So we're trying to eliminate that. Uh, hopefully, the this grow that we're doing, the next two, uh, it's two rooms, one house, um, but it's for a small collective of patients. It just stays within our little group, and it's it's kind of if you don't have any, here's what I've got left over, and then when time comes and I'm out, you know, we kind of help each other that way just to avoid any more of the BS that's going on currently in the state, which uh, you'll find later that we are very much not happy with the way things are going. And in fact, uh, Buckner and I are also going to be helping out with the uh, Cannabis Common Sense um, show there. So for those of you in California, those who actually watch it, um, you'll see more of us there. We're, we're going to be out there doing it. Um, you know, we don't get paid for our activism. We're doing this to uh, make sure that everybody has the right to be comfortable and happy. And uh, if we're not hurting anybody, and uh, this is actually a positive thing, it's worth fighting for. And I don't think people should uh, should make major assumptions or, or judgments until they themselves have uh, researched it 100%. So, a lot coming up. Stay tuned. I'm going to try to remember to uh, bring out more videos like this, little updates and where we're going and funny stuff. Um, we're going to bring back the funny. But uh, <laughs> for now, I'm just letting you guys know what's coming up. Something to look forward to. So keep coming back, absolutely. I'm going to get some insight into not, not only one, but Four, four medical grows that uh, I find are doing extremely well. We're also going to get to meet a few people who are in the industry under SB 420 running a collective or dispensary. We're going to get to talk to some of those people too. And, and we also have uh, four different strains that we're going to be trying and testing out and comparing i got to get the medical panel together. Old cripples, we take a while to get organized, but we have four. Um, if I can remember correctly, one of them is Cheddar Bob. Uh, we have Double Dream. 
We have uh, purple pineapple, and of course the jack hair. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to probably do a little round robin maybe, or or just test them individually over a couple of days, and we're going to post those reviews up. We're also going to post where we got them from. Um, a lot of people can grow a bunch of strains, but whether or not they do it right is a completely different story. And uh, my health is important to me, so I'm kind of a snob when it comes to uh, my herbs. So definitely good quality, top shelf always. If I'm if I'm gonna have to buy it for these reviews, I'm buying the best. And uh, we're gonna compare them. We're gonna let you guys know what's going on, where we got it from, how to get there. Um, a couple of these places they deliver all over California overnight, guaranteed. So. I'll let you know more about that later. But until then, uh, Buckner and I have a full day today.